Ugh, spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummond Koss is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. I would have figured you'd been to Drummond Koss before. Braden and I moved around a lot when we first got together, but we never made it here. Keep in mind, Imperials aren't fond of aliens. Step out of line, and they'll notice. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. My goal is to join the Great Hunt. That's it. Still, let's try to keep a low profile. Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Chris DeMarcon. What's this? Shaking down travelers? <laughs> what are you gonna do if we say yes? When the speeders were pulled off the line, people started braving the deeper jungle, trying to make it to Cass City on foot. Had a few deaths, some of them VIPs. Captain Tolto sent us to keep people out and poke around a bit, see what's out there. It's nice to see the Empire protecting its citizens. Yes. Some assignments are definitely better than others. We managed to take some data readings, even some hollows. Big nasty critters out there, nothing to mess with. Our runner, unfortunately, is down a leg from the experience. If you're headed back towards the spaceport, could you give the observation disc to Captain Tolto? Let's get more specific about my pay. Ah, of course. I'm sure we can work something out. You'll get your credits. Package for you. Charge on delivery. Hmm? Ah, the runner must have taken ill or something. I'll take it. This is what I needed. I'll start moving to warn everyone off that path until we can get some full cleanup squads. Exactly as reported. A degree six revolt, population equivalent to the Duros uprising on Zilior. Subjects occupy a moderate radius of jungle. Good. Good. What have we here? A hunter? I have need of you. I am Lord Drow. When the Empire encounters resistance on its conquered worlds, they call me. I'm here to end the slave uprising on Drum and Cass. I wasn't aware there was a slave revolt going on. Very soon there won't be. You can assist me in ending it. The situation is this. A Sith Lord was constructing a colossal statue of himself in the jungle. His slaves revolted and armed themselves. The Colossus remains unfinished and well-armed slaves now control the jungle. An embarrassment for the Empire, but an opportunity for me. What can these renegade slaves possibly provide you? Test subjects, of course. A means of perfecting my techniques. I'm testing a toxic weapon, a poison called Quell. Its victims experience a prolonged state of agonizing pain before finally dying. The victim's allies are so horrified by Quell's effects, they lose their wills to resist. At least that's what I intend to prove. That's not good to hear. That's one of the things I love best about it. I need someone to introduce a controlled amount of Quell into the slave's water supply, so that I can determine the proper dosage. The work is dangerous, there will be armed slaves everywhere, but your success will be well rewarded. What do you say? A job is a job. Just tell me what to do. A true professional. I respect that. My assistant Sergeant Slerin will recommend the correct dosage of Quell and give you a supply. See him at the research tent. If I know Lord Drowell's tastes, which unfortunately I do, he sent you for the Quell toxin. I'm helping him put down the slave revolt. Do you truly understand what he's asked you to do? What if I told you this experiment is pointless? That past studies have shown increased suffering has no impact on the speed of surrender. This has nothing to do with accelerating the end of a rebellion. Lord Drowell simply takes perverse thrill in gratuitous suffering. Wake me when you're done. Don't you see? Lord Drowell compromises efficiency for his own twisted fixations. I want this assignment over with. The faster this rebellion ends, the faster I'll be reassigned to more important work. Serving Lord Drow's bloodlust has stunted my career. If not for his inefficiency, I'd be a captain by now. What does this have to do with the job at hand? Everything, if you're willing to help me. Lord Drow's dosage of Quell Toxin will have slaves writhing in agony for pointless weeks. 
during which this area will remain volatile. I've prepared a dose that will kill the slaves efficiently, which is better for the Empire and for me. Will you deliver my dosage instead? I want these renegade slaves to pay for disobeying the Empire. You're not merely prolonging the slaves' agony, but my own as well. Committed to your work, aren't you? Very well. Take the quell toxin and inject it into the slave camp's water filtration systems. See Lord Drow for your payment when you're done. You delivered the exact results I hoped for. Quell is like an imbibed torture device infesting those rebel slaves. It's exhilarating to see the effects on the survivors who can only stand by and watch helplessly. You paid for suffering, and I delivered. Quite so. I'll recommend your services highly to my fellow Sith. Quell Toxin will be a great asset to the Empire. Uprisings will end painfully and decisively. You've earned your reward, my friend. Now go. I have horror and despair to observe and chronicle. <laughs> and then I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Whoa. Hello, handsome. You here to sweep me off my feet? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. Ooh, what's this? Got yourself a pet? Little sister, maybe? It's not enough to hold a real man's interest, anyway. I'm not spoken for, if that's what you're wondering. Good to know. Been a while since we've had anyone as fine as you in here. You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you, but there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. Those other hunters can go home. That spot is mine. It's yours if you can get it. Lots of folks will be thinking the same thing, though. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're going to sort things out. Head into the main room, and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. Quiet! Quiet, you dogs! Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay attention and show some respect for once in your lives. The great hunt is upon us. Many will hunt. Many will die. All will win glory and honor. Today we have too many hunters. All must compete. Only one joins the great hunt. You heard the Huntmaster. You're competing for the last spot in the Great Hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Kos. You expect us to hunt here with Imperials crawling all over us and Sith? If you're afraid to compete, the spaceport's that away. Yes, that's the spirit. For all you overblown, useless, no talent cowards. We installed a handy exit door. Use it now! The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. You'll be one less body for me to step over. At least you got the attitude right. Don't expect this world to roll over for you, though. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Well, what are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood.
A dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaos is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman Kaos. Gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee. This is the best job in the galaxy. Ooh, I like you. You're even crazier than the rest of these hunters. Now let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What'd he do? It'll be fine. What are we dealing with here? I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. Why was selling him into slavery a mistake? He should have been ransomed, but Altaka wasn't properly identified when he got captured. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Will the family pay big for a corpse? They'll pay for the body, but not as much as alive. Details are on the higher slip. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K full-gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. Seven brutal bloody murders. Seven. And the killer is allowed to walk free. Decent, law-abiding citizens, loyal servants of the Emperor, are being slaughtered. And what do our security forces do? Nothing. I've seen the killer myself, but the authorities say I don't have enough proof. I demand justice! What makes you think I care? Well, I, I'm not fit to confront such an individual, but someone has to. Several days ago, I spotted a bounty hunter following people seemingly at random, but pointing a strange device at them. The descriptions of the murder victims exactly match the people the hunter was following. He's behind these brutal killings, I know it! Lots of bounty hunters kill for a living. Me, for instance. There's nothing professional about these murders. They're sickening, depraved even. I followed the killer this morning. Saw him skulking into the Mandalorian Enclave. Someone called him by name, Renegan. This bounty hunter must learn the Empire doesn't tolerate gutter scum like him killing its citizens. He needs to be punished. I've got a shuttle to catch. You mind getting out of my way? You've been a bad boy, Renegan. Murdering innocent citizens. Now hold on. I never killed anybody who didn't have it coming. You've been listening to Wrightson. Great. Listen, I didn't murder anybody. I was just hired to tag some random citizens, that's all. You didn't ask why you were hired to tag random people? You know this business. If the credits are good, no questions asked. I didn't know my clients would kill those people. I was hired by a group of Sith to organize games for them. Didn't realize what that meant until bodies started piling up. When I confronted them, they laughed. Said Sith have a birthright to hunt lowlifes. It's like a sport to them. That's not gonna go well. Sooner or later, there'll be a witness to one of these killings. I don't want to be around when that happens. I'm in over my head, and too many people are watching me now. So I can't even leave. I need help, and I'm willing to pay for it. You interested? Tell me what I can do for you. I just want this problem to go away. And I only see two ways for that to happen. Either get rid of the loudmouth pointing fingers at me, or end that sick game the Sith are playing. I think your clients need to find a new hobby. Works for me. I'll have a plan that'll get them so good, no one will have to worry about Fallout. Take this hunter tag. Use it on Sith acolytes all around the city. 
The Acolytes will become my clients' new targets. Don't worry. I'll make sure they survive. Come back when you're done, and I'll pay you. My clients already ambushed one of the Acolytes you tagged. Wish I could have been there. Attacking Sith is a major crime, even for other Sith. I sent the authorities an anonymous tip to watch the Acolytes closely. When my clients jumped the ones you tagged, they were arrested and executed. Best work I've done in a long time. I wouldn't make a habit of killing your bosses if I was you. From now on, I'll be a lot choosier about my clients. My loudmouth friend ought to shut up, now that the killers have been caught. That should make life easier. Here, take these credits. Couldn't have pulled this off without you. See you around, friend. My dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter from an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Why would a noble be writing love letters to a slave? That's what I want to know. It must have been the Force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places, and for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus Room is where we'll find these weirdos. This whole planet is weird. I am with you there. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. There, sir. Just as I said. That looks like him, alright. Bounty Hunter. I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. Am I under arrest, Sergeant? Just stay calm and hand over your weapons. You're lucky to be breathing the same air as me, alien. Don't push your luck. Sergeant, Tarot Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Getting others to do your dirty work? That's just low. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. He's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Uh, sir? Who's that guy? Blood, I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah, either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You really don't want to mess with me. I'll give you a cut, you miserable, greedy thugs! Now attack! Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that... thing. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. I know who you really are, Lord Daka. Uh, then you know I am to be, uh, feared, and that you should not keep talking to me. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from him. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? The Lord here is wanted back at home. At home? Uh, but that means... 
You, you told me I was trapped here, that I would have to forget my family, that this, this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Oh, you can be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. Make this fast, lady. I've got other things to do. My darling, my lovely Al Tucker. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Al Tucker's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. Uh, wh what? You want him to kill me? You think I'd let you walk away and be someone else's pet? Never. This keeps getting more disturbing. She's insane. Please, take me back to my family. It would mean so much to them, to my poor mother. I don't kill people unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. Sure you don't want to get some dinner with me? Just leave. Hey there, Hunter. Competition out there, something crazy. A couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. And you found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. If this is a competition, why are there still credits on these jobs? Well, first of all, gear and ammo ain't cheap. Second, the Great Hunt is mostly secret, so the more it looks business as usual, the better. Your second bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Frabal, Imperial Navy. Why would an Imperial officer need me? Usually because one clawed arm of the old Imperial beast don't want the other to see what it's scratching on. Here's the slip. Frabal's in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. This is the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? I'm here to see the Admiral. Let me in. I don't think so. I doubt the Admiral would have anything to do with your kind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. I have a job slip from your boss, moron. I really couldn't care less what you... What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome alien here, Admiral. It refuses to leave. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. I'll bet you get a demerit for that, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're terrible. The Admiral is waiting. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He is of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. Bad soldiers are the result of bad leadership. Often true, unfortunately. I haven't the luxury of training my assistants personally. I must take what Central Command sends me. That, of course, is neither here nor there. You've come to perform a service. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. I'm a hunter. I don't kill people unless I have to. You are more than welcome to try taking her alive, but she will not allow it. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Why not just get her a new master? It's outside of my control. The Sith manage their own affairs, the rest of us merely suffer the consequences. 
If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst... This is one messed up way to run a planet. You deal with the Empire you have, not the one you might wish you had. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. I'll handle this, quiet and quick. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. I used to be respected, you know. My word carried weight. One tiny mistake and suddenly no one trusts me. My troops were acting strangely, plotting something. Obviously they were traitors, all the warning signs were there. A smart move was to kill them all. How could I know they were planning a surprise party for my promotion? Do you always get this personal with strangers? Sorry, and I've been in the jungle too long. Forgot my manners. I'm Captain Jilg with Imperial Reconnaissance. You have to listen to me. This time, I'm not being paranoid. This time, I've identified a major threat to Imperial security. There are Kuba's spies all over the jungle, and they're invisible. You can only see them when lightning flashes disrupt their stealth technology. How can these alleged Kuba's make themselves invisible? They must have powerful stealth field generators. If not for the electrical discharges in the atmosphere, I'd never have noticed them. The Empire's enemies are up to something. The Kubas are here assessing our strengths and weaknesses for them. I just know it. Scour the jungle, watch the lightning flashes, and strike when you see a Kubas. Kill the snouted scum and bring me proof. Aha! A holo communicator with Kubas markings on it. This will shut up those fools calling me paranoid. With this, I'll finally prove there are spies all around us. My superiors can't ignore this kind of evidence. You've done a great service for both me and the Empire, my friend. Take this, and my thanks. Hold your position, please, and keep your weapon holstered. The remotes are scanning you now. You check out. Sorry if I was brusque. We're on the lookout for anyone with Lord Grathen, and I'm sick of letting him stomp on my people. Care to elaborate on that? Look, stick around a minute. I don't know if you're familiar with the situation, but Grathen's a nightmare. The Sith Lord's gone rogue. He's holed up in his estate past the wall. He's got weapons, shields, and a cadre of scientists developing new tech to use against us. Grathen wants respect and authority from the Dark Council, so in true Sith fashion, he turned on his masters to prove his power. As a result, we have to put up with this lunacy. So if you're here to cause Grathen problems anyway, you might help us out. Are you saying you're hiring? Depends. Are you any good? Here's the story. There are nearly a hundred men assigned to this sector, some on the wall, some watching Grathen. Twenty are missing. My men. Practically my kids. Grathen stole them, and I want them back. Where do I come in? I don't know what Lord Grathen wants with them. Maybe he's holding them hostage just to demoralize us. Who knows? But if you're heading to Grathen's grounds, help them get out. Tell them to report back to their Duchess. That's, um, what they call me. Duchess? You'll have to explain that. You try making it as an officer without getting tagged with a nickname. I've got reports saying that Grathen's been transporting prisoners to another wing of his estate. I don't know if it's my people he's moving, but it's worth checking out. Watch yourself. Grathen doesn't mess around. Shh! But be very careful. Lord Grathen's eyes are everywhere. He's suspicious of all strangers. He must be blind to our doings. Just poke his eyes out, then he'll really be blind. Not possible. Lord Grathen's a Sith. Probably kill me first. Ooh. 
Oh, joke. I get it. <laughs> Funny. But Lord Grathen's no laughing matter. Grathen's trouble, see? Big trouble. Mad scientist type. Likes weapons, cyborgs, droids, ergonomic chairs. My mission's to keep an eye on him. Watch for anything suspicious. But I don't know what you're doing here. I have business with a rogue lord. Business, eh? Like killing business, I suspect. You've got a glint in your eye, like maybe you're not paying a friendly visit. See, my orders are to keep my distance and not enter Lord Grafton's place or cause any kind of ruckus. But I'm supposed to see about a certain prototype turret design the rogue lord supposedly acquired. Empire wants it for mass production. What's so special about this turret? I don't know specifics, only that it's supposed to be pretty powerful. Lord grathen has got the turrets hidden inside somewheres. I'd go looking for them myself, but orders are orders. I have to stay put. Since you're going in, you could maybe poke around and see if you can't find the plans to those turrets. I need money up front. You'll get your pay when you do the job. The thing is, you never get past the turrets unless you take out a guard and get a security badge. The security badge transmits a signal that tells the turrets the badge holder is friendly. So the op is, get a security badge off a guard, find those turrets and grab the plans. Easy, right? I'll be keeping an eye out here, right where you found me. Authorization. Authorization. System cannot identify. Please don't go! Please don't go! What's happening? Are you with Lord Grathen? Are you invading? System cannot identify. You're awfully emotional for a heap of machinery. You don't... I am not a machine. I'm not a droid. I... System cannot stop. Reassigning priorities. Operating number 2188697. Oh, Please. Did the Duchess send you? Please help me. Your commander sent me to free you and the others. We failed. Failed to defend ourselves. Rathen's people took us prisoner for experiments. The scientists cut open our heads, put us in droids. Identification model OHK-99. They program us for advanced intelligence. Enhanced combat tactics. Now my body's lying dead across the room. I can see it. Are the rest of the soldiers still alive? I'm the last. The others have all been converted. They can't talk, can't disobey. But I know they can still think, feel. Please listen. You could disable us all. Send the shutdown command from our central command console. Please. You could put an end to this. Use the command console. I can't go with you, motor and combat systems non-functional. Please, make it stop hurting. Yes, a violent intruder laying waste Lord Grathen's compound. I applaud you. I'm Ismar Brengel, one of Lord Grathen's indentured scientists. I'd like to make your destruction of this place highly profitable. You're happy I'm destroying Lord Grathen's compound? Beyond happy, I'm practically giddy. Three years ago, Lord Grathen lured me to work for him. He promised great opportunities and exciting fields of study. Instead, I became a prisoner, slaving on freakish creations Grathen uses to advance himself. It's a thankless existence. What's going on here? Please don't ask me to describe the horrors Grathen demanded I develop for him. The work sickens me. Grathen cybernetics researchers, a sadistic bunch of scum, developed cyborg body parts that regenerate. The technology will revolutionize warfare. It's worth a fortune. I have a buyer looking to manufacture a cyborg army. You'll get 60% of my profits if you steal the cybernetic researcher's files. This better be worth it. You won't get shortchanged, I promise. There is a catch, of course. 
You'll have to activate the main console by sending override commands from the remote terminals. Graffin protects his computers with lethal security forces. War droids, cyborgs, even genetically engineered weapons. Expect heavy resistance. I live for that kind of trouble. Must be exhilarating. As long as trouble doesn't kill you. Take this data spike. Insert it into the main console at Graffin's central lab. The spike will download all the data we need. When you're done, bring me the spike. I'll arrange it sale and transfer credits to your account. Go now, be swift. Oh, what have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grathen's spy said my father contacted the Mandalorian Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real-life Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. What does it matter who kills you? A woman has to have standards. Wait, you don't seriously think you can kill me? I mean, I'm a Sith and you're just... whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. Then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? Apparently, my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. Why would your father hire me if you can't be killed? To save face, naturally. Don't you understand how any of this works? A more powerful Sith could kill me. Or a really lucky Jedi, I suppose. Perhaps a bomb, but not some random bounty hunter. You must be so crushed. Live and learn, I guess. Except, not in your case. Sorry. I lost? I can't lose. I'm Sith. Someone's been filling your head with garbage. Can't die like this, falling to some common bounty hunter. Everything Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. It's time you and your father had a chat. What? No, that's worse. <laughs>